In this video, we're going to name ionic compounds. You're going to create a chart on the bottom of page 84. It's going to have formulas, the name that we come up with, and then some hints. We're going to deal with one at a time. This first set are the simplest type, and the hints say you're going to split the formula after the metal. Identify the ions, write the cation first, write the anion second, and change the ending to IDE. So I take a look at the formula. Mg is in group 2, so it's a metal, so I'm going to split it after the metal. Everything on this side is one ion, and everything on the other side of the line is the other. So I've done both of these steps. We're going to write the cation. We don't do anything different to it. So whatever the name is, magnesium, that's what we're going to write. We're going to write the second one. We're going to change the ending to I. So instead of oxygen, it's going to become oxide. And we're done. I'm going to do the second one also. If I take a look at this, I have calcium and chlorine. Calcium is a metal. Everything on this side is going to be uh, one ion and everything on the other side is the other. Again, the first one is just the name you find on the periodic table, calcium, and then chlorine changes to chloride. Moving on, we are going to take a look at the next example. And these how to hints say we're going to split the formula after the metal. Oh, I'm going to do the same thing. And I have copper there. But this is find the anion charge next. So let's talk about why. If we go back to this chart and we look in our copper box, there are two different options. We have to figure out which option is here. The best way to do it is to find the charge on the anion, so the O. O is group 6A. It needs two more electrons, so the overall charge is minus 2. If you double check this chart, oxygen only has one option. Now I'm going to take a look at the copper. You probably all agree this is a one-to-one -one ratio. There's one copper to one oxygen. Whatever charge is on the copper, it has to be equal and opposite to the oxygen. So it has to be two plus. So if it's anything else, they don't sum to zero. Now for the name. I'm going to write it copper but I have to add the Roman numerals. Copper, two for the two, and then oxide. Look at the next one. So tin, oh, I shouldn't be giving names, SN, O2. And again, if we take a look at this one, tin has multiple options. Now, the way you know if you need to figure out the anion first is if the metal is in the D block. See how the D block or the transition metals have quite a few? Or this area down here underneath the stair step one. So I have O, and it's still O2, but this time I have two of them because of that subscript. So my total for negative charge is four negative. 
and this ratio is a 1 to 2 ratio. So that means I only have 1 10. Whatever is there, it has to equal to a plus 4 because I have to add these two together to get 0. Since there's only one of them, there's only one option. It has to be 10 4. 10 Roman numerals 10 4 oxide. And the last one is a different type also. Well, this one, it has the same starting. Split the formula after the metal. So lithium is a metal, so I'm just going to split it after the metal. And again, everything on this side is one ion, and everything in this one is another. Because all ionic compounds, ionic compounds, always split into two ions. Always. Lithium is just written as you see it. And here, all of that is one thing because it can only ever be two things. So, because there's more than one atom there, I'm just going to go here and now I'm going to scan the, the formulas and look for CR, uh, what am I looking for? I'm looking for CR207. And here it is, CR207, dichromate. has that type. Now it tells me to split the formula after the metal and I had a metal. Unless the formula starts with all non-metals and or parentheses, then we're going to use our polyatomic ion chart. So look, it's starting with parentheses. So I'm going to split it here and still everything on this side is one thing. It is made up of more than one atom, so I'm going to go to my chart and look for H3O plus. I knew to go down here because the first one's always positive. Hydronium it is. And yes, there's more than one thing on this side, but it's just all one thing. So, PO4. PO4 phosphate. Those are the three different examples or types of ions that you're going to have to name.